to the final week of the daily draw. We know in England now, everybody's gone back to school. In Scotland, the little ones are back. So for all you P4s to 7s and you, and you um, secondary schoolers who are still looking for an, a, a, a homeschooling activity, we're still here for you this week. So last week, we did this really cute kitten, which I know lots of you liked, but not everybody's a cat person. Some people like a dog. So today we've got a gorgeous, gorgeous little dog. Get your pencil and let's start drawing. Okay, today's, uh, we're gonna start the week with this really cute little pup. Now, I've done this one here in sort of orangey browns, but I'm gonna do the next one in dark browns and you could do this, your doggy, in any color you want. And just find whatever drawing materials, you could, You really need a pencil and a rubber to start with. Um, but you, I'm using watercolor pencils here, but use felt tips, crowns, whatever you've got hold of. The watercolor pencils, you need the watercolor paper. So I'm going to do this in my watercolor pad here. And you can see, the, oh, look, there was the kitten. That's why I've got to do the doggy now, because I've done a kitten. Um, you can do it, um, this watercolor pad, you can use, you can draw on both sides. It's absolutely great. It's some really nice, thick watercolor paper there. All, all this stuff's available on our website at uh, littleartschool.co.uk but we are going to do our doggy and we're going to that's what we're going to finish with but this is the little art school so you know I'm going to break it down don't you we're going to move on to those shapes but we're going to start here look how simple we're starting we're going to start here with a rectangle a few lines and some triangles that's it that's that's the beginning so uh, quite often what I like to do is to find the middle of the page and it's there so I'm going to put a spot there on the middle of my page then I'm going to come down from my spot and I'm going to draw a line. How simple is that? Just one little line. And then from there, I'm going to take it up. Now, look how loosely I'm holding my pencil. Just really relax your pencil grip. Most of these lines we're going to rub out. So really, you want to be very light here with your lines. And across. So a little rectangle. I'm going to come in from that corner. And go down with a line. Now we'll pause after I get to the end of this stage and you'll be able to draw it. If I'm drawing too fast for you, don't worry, just have a quick watch at how I put these shapes together and then you'll be able to pause and pop them in. So we've got a triangle there and we've got another triangle here. Well, this is all it is, just a few shapes. Now if I come down from that bit there, I'm going to take it down. Oh actually that's not steep enough. I want this really steep. I want it to go down to about there. So let's take it down a nice steep triangle. Straight line up. All of these are going to be rubbed out so really don't worry about them. You're just going to get the approximate lines and you definitely don't need a ruler because they're all going to go. So start with that rectangle, pop in the other shapes nice and lightly and then we'll come back and go to the next stage. <music> Okay, so at this next stage, that you can see, look closely, look at the red lines. That's what we've just drawn in. And all we're going to do now is use these as a guide whilst we put in all these wiggly lines around it to really bring our little King Charles Spaniel together. So I'm going to start here with this triangle and I'm going to put in this right hand ear. And all I'm going to do is come up. I'll bring this in, you'll be able to see it. I could bring that in so you can put it there up. And I'm going to bring it up and round. And I'm going to cross it down there. So I just want it to come up around there. Again, really light. I'm going to ignore that bit of the triangle there, but I'm going to come in from here, go up, come across and join. And then we'll take that down a bit of a wiggly line there. And that's that ear. Can you see the ears started to come up? So I can go in now. I'll leave that line there for now start to rub those shapes out and one of the reasons we start with the shapes is that it really helps us to get the proportions right it helps us to get the side the size of it and, and the proportions right in relation to each other so there we go I'm really happy with that ear that's one ear in right let's go over here now I'm going to just put in these shapes in the face 
So if I come in here, I'm going to go about, hmm, not halfway, if that's halfway, I'm going to come in a bit more and I'm going to go in with this. This is um, just going to be the bit, side bit of the face. I'll go down to there, come up and again, all, I'll pause where you'll be able to get all those shapes in. That's not quite right. It doesn't really matter because it all doggies are different with their colouring, so. Right, that's it. That'll do for that. So I can now get rid of that bit. And what I'm going to do for the top of the head is I'm going to not go right to the end of that rectangle. I'm going to go to there. Come out and down and then up and down. And here, this is where we're going to start putting in what's going to be like her little um, mouth here. So we're going to take it round there, out a little. And it doesn't go all the way to the bottom, it comes to about there. But what we want is the foot to be going out. So we'll have another go there, come out. And then out a little, that's better. And while I've still got that side in there, I'm just going to come in and I'm going to start to put this little semicircle here, and that will form the nose. And see, we've got the little nose in there. Right, let's go over here to this ear now, and I'm going to start in there, go up, down, and here I'm not going to. Um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to rub it out so that I can come in and from there to there, I'm going to have these little lines like this. They're the fluffiest ears on these little doggies. And the same here. Just lovely fluffy eyes. We'll do that over here with the rest of it. Not eyes, ears. Lovely fluffy ears. There we go. You see, he's really coming to life now, isn't it? So just from those simple shapes, really got the start of it. So all that's left now at this stage, so you can see I've kept all my lines light, so it's really easy to rub them out. I'm gonna come in here uh, and just sweep it out. And that is our next stage done. So if you pause now, Work around, just work around your shapes and start to get that in. Okay, now we're going to finish it off. So you can see we've already got these fluffy marks around here, but we want to start with this ear here where we've got that solid line. I just want you to take it out and make it really we're loosing it off. Look how loosely I'm holding my pencil as well. So I'm not gripping it. I just want to get these lovely loose lines, especially here at the bottom where it just becomes very fluffy. And if you want, you can put some little lines in here. We're going to bring all that out at the next stage. Just edge that off there. And the same with this side of the ear. Nice and fluffy. So what we really need to do now is pop in the eyes. And the eyes are always such an important part, but don't get yourself wound up. If it doesn't go right first time, you can rub them out. So if you go to the bottom of there where your nose is coming out, I'm gonna take that out a little. It was a semicircle. I'm just gonna move it so it looks a bit more nose night, just taking it out a little. And then I'm gonna go into this area for my little eye. And what I'm gonna do is start with that shape there. It's quite big. Start with the oval. And then from there, I'm gonna take it out like that on each side. This one, this little pointy bit is higher than that one on that side. Take it down. Don't forget to leave a little highlight. And then we're gonna come underneath. That's gonna be the white of the eye there. And we want a really strong black part there. So we've got the eye. If you feel like it should be bigger, 
but I feel like that should be a little bit bigger. I'm going to take mine up. I'm going to make it bigger there. That's better. So don't expect to get it spot on first time around. It might take a couple of goes before you feel like you're really happy with your eye. That one's the most important one. This one is just tucked away here. And what we're going to do there is a little circle, highlight, and a tiny rim. And that's it for that eye. Because it's as if she's got her head turned or he, and it's further away. But we've got a couple of last bits to do. We've got this bit here in the nose, just there like that. And then come down from the nose and put that little mark there with a broken line and then make sure we want it to look him or her to look like she's the smiling. So I'm going to take it up like that. And that is our little doggy. Oh, I think we'll just make sure we fluff up this bit as well, actually, just the top of that ear. And there needs to be loose and fluffy and these bits. So all those lines that feel quite strong, they all need to just get loosened out slightly like that. Nice and fluffy. Oh, so just total fluffy cuteness really, isn't it? There we go, and coming in there. And that is our little span. <laughs> paint my spaniel using the watercolour pencils and I've just got four pencils out of the pack here I've got the pinky red we're hardly going to use any of that let's put it aside it's a tiny bit just here on the mouth right at the end black which we'll use on the eyes and nose but the two colours we're going to use mainly here are these two browns this is a very reddish brown it's called a burnt sienna so we're going to put that down and we're going to bring it in little later and I'm going to use this brown so the one I did earlier I made very sort of quite ready I wanted it to be those sort of russet tones but this one I'm going to make it dark a bit darker so what I'm going to do is keeping my pencil very loose I'm just going to go around we'll do this here first and I want all those lovely furry bits see can you see there's not one edge here going in it is all lots of little furry edges and then I'm going to do the same and what I'm doing here is putting the pigment onto a paper because these aren't ordinary pencils so I'm not colouring it carefully I'm just getting some brown down but I'm also just to get a bit of a hint of the red in I'm going to put a little bit of that one in as well right let's take the brush and watch the magic now so all I'm doing is putting my brush into, you see, into my water and then suddenly it's turning. And as I bring that red in, it's turning with the brown. Can you see that? Some of the marks are staying, which is what I want. I want to keep some of the marks. And some are turning. So I'm going to turn the whole of the inside of the ear first with my wet brush. But then I'm going to come out and instead of using the brush sort of pressing down, I'm going to be, whoop, I'm going to hold it very lightly there. Watch just the tip of my brush. I'm going to bring it out so I get these extra bits of really of lovely fur coming out from the paint. So you make your doggy very, very furry. Lots and lots. So that's that here. Done. Let's come across and we'll do exactly the same now on the other side here. Lots of little lines. Them in the centre. Around here, I'd like it to be a bit darker. So I'll go in with my brown, but I'm going to press a bit harder here so that it's nice and dark. Bring it down to the bottom. Not, you don't need to be neat when you're colouring like this because we're just, it's the pigment. Let's put a bit of that reddish brown there just in the tips. 
take my brush, add a bit of water. You can see the difference between that and that. It's much darker, isn't it, around here now? Go around the eye quite carefully. And then I'm going to, just like I did last time, pull it out slightly so we've got this fluffiness. The paints just mix on the paper as you as you touch the brush to them. They're brilliant. The neatest way for parents to introduce painting into the house, I think. So we've got that here as well, and it's just a little bit darker than that one. And then we're going to come in and we're going to do this bit here. So same, I'm going to come in with my pencil, keeping all the edges nice and loose. I want to be a bit darker here, so just like I did over there, I'm going to go in a bit darker. And then I'll go nice and light, the rest of it. Just a touch of my ready brown at the edges. Let's turn to paint. I'm going to start with the lighter bits first. Go carefully around the eye with my brush. Making it seem nice and fur at the edges. I don't have one straight edge in this. Right, and then we'll do the dark a bit now. And that's to help it stand out against the side of the ear. Yeah, right, I'm going to take my brush now with a bit of water, go into there, take a bit of the paint on. I'm just going to put, as if we've got a couple of shadows here in the white bits of fur. It just breaks it up a little bit. But that's all it is, it's just a bit of paint that I've taken from there. Okay, right, now we're going to come in and finish it off. And I'm going to do that with the black. I'm going to start up here on the little nose. All I'm going to do is colour that bit. Now watch carefully now. I'm going to turn this bit to paint. Then I'm going to wet my brush and just with water, there's no paint on that brush, I'm going to go like this just to take it down to there. So it's almost, that was just water there touching the edges. And then into the black, I always think that the animals just come alive when you put in their eyes. And I'm going to start with this lovely huge pupil there. one as well. You don't have to turn these to paint, you can just leave them black if you like. And we've got a black bit here underneath as well. And in here, it's better to wait till it's dry but I'm going to put it in. And here we've also got some brown, dark brown at the edges. Now take, whilst you've got your dark brown out, we're going to go here like this. Pop in a little 
mouth underneath you don't have to put this do this but it's just a tiny bit of pink we'll bring that out there like that just a tiny bit i think it's quite nice just having that little bit of pink and then just go in and any bits that are still where you can see see the pencil just take your brown pencil and finish it off and that is our little king charles spaniel <laughs> you enjoyed that. It's very cute, wasn't it? Now, we've got an animals playlist on the YouTube channel and you can look back. What have we done? We've done frogs. We've done, oh, my mind's gone blank. Elizabeth, can you help me? What have we done? We had the panda tea party. Panda tea party. We've got a sloth. We've got, oh, there's so many out there. Take a look at the animals playlist and have a go at some of the other animals we've got there. We'll be back tomorrow and for the rest of the week for this, the final week of the Daily Draw. See you then. Thank you.